Pekin. We no no waiting kill him, Papa. Na mumu Pekin. Because that same thing go kill and join. Pekin. We carry Papa go market square. The true poto poto for him, Papa body. Sick. He won't collect a collate. That Pekin. Na bad Pekin. My fellow frustrated Nigerians and fans of Charlie Bond. First, I would like to clear up what I call the great conspiracy that has been going on in the Mumu Don't Do movement. As Father, me I know say, consistency will always outwit conspiracy. You see, I've been noticing some Burugege workout amongst my son, Deji Adeyunju and Rafa Debayo since Deji was released from prison. So when he announced his resignation, the thing can make me suspect him more. So I talked to him, make I investigate this matter. I found out that there were insinuations that me, Charlie Paul, collect money from Festus Kiyamo when I only called him to come and see how to facilitate Deji's release. So as Deji come to me, I decided to play the game with him in my quest to see why his character suddenly changed. I suspected that it could have been the rumors that I collected that for his I collected money for a song that I did that tickle, a song that I also last APC. Because I know say up no good, down no good, everywhere I turn around in a poto poto. Oh. So when Deji asked if I collected money from Kiyam, I played along now and say, Father, yes. I said, yes, I collected money. Just to know what Deji story was and why he lost confidence so we can fix it. Deji did not even wait to, to hear me out. After I say yes, say I collect money, he immediately started to walk away. I suspected that he was up to something fishy. The Jesus in Commod prison has been acting funny. Now you know the winch with the posture. I know say my son Deji come with tape recorder. Now do you see my in that my intuition was right? Deji was only interested in certain money that was collected. Not the truth of the matter. You go here and say, them say, them say. You know, come confirm with father what the truth is. You can't record father. Now, let me tell you the truth. Are you ready? There was no money collected from Festus Kiyamo. No shishi. No shishi was collected from Festus Kiyamo. I purposely was dishing out figures to see how these boys, these mumu, People, these are Kamu people. Go they act. Now, now I believe say they are mumu. Now follow come. You know, see as in the past on pan down. Anytime I call figure, now five million, hey, now six million, hey, now nine digit, hey, see you. Anything I call, hey, 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 hey. When people can't they send me account details, make a wire money to them. People why no no. Hello, Charlie boy. Have you sent it? Chineke is gone. I don't go kill me. Oh no, don't go kill me. Chay. Now I want to ask you a question. Question number one. My people, I beg. Which kind of campaign where they go they do for election where somebody could give you nine digits? Nine digits now, hundred million naira. What do they think? You be the video, you be you be whiskey. Which kind of video be that? Which kind of video be that? No politician fit count that money give anybody for this Nigeria. Please make one receive sense. Question number two. Why will Festus give me money for a song that I was causing APC, causing PDP? Is it possible? I beg, Joe, make not receive sense. Make not go YouTube. All oh, this is why they talk. The songs they YouTube. 
Question number three. Why was there no reaction from DJ and Raf when I did the song asking Buari to pack and go? And they started to feel uneasy when I did the song about Atiku. Oh, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Make we stop to the play of this partisan politics. Now, you know, go help us, even inside our house. Eh? I don't talk up, no good, down, no good, everywhere, potter, potter. Let's have courage enough to speak the truth to power. We need a new leader for this country. You they hear? Not all this nyama, nyama, potter, potter people were full everywhere. Now, the shocking thing is that this same Raf Adebayo, he don't block me from assessing my mumu social media handles. He changed the password for Twitter. He changed the password for Facebook. He changed my password for Instagram. Even YouTube joined. As we speak, Raf has been using a Mumu Don't Do platform to send false and dangerous information about me. Because he knows I cannot access my platform anymore. I can't get him. Raf, what did I do? What did I do? So I collect money. Raf, me, I collect money. My own son, Raf. Eh? Where I bring you come from, Lagos. See, he won't come out me area further from a movement me start. Is that possible? You could feel better for you like that, Raf. You won't come out me. The hope of a frustrated Nigerian youth. You won't remove a 68-year-old man fighting for the future of our Nigerian youth. A fight that I've taken tear gas for. A fight that I've, I've, I've taken what I can of. They push me for who say my kid, they nearly kill me. A fight that I've sacrificed my life for. This is the conspiracy I'm talking about. You see, when Bwari was ruling the country from London for 90 days, now from London in the operate, we started resume resign campaign. He was forced to return back when our people from London go shout for his head, for his house, for early moment, and he take leave London. When the Libya slavery they happened, we protested for our brother's safe return. Because if country good, why would our people be running away now? Why? Why? When some of our Nigerian journalists were indiscriminately locked up, now we go protest for police headquarters eh? and ensure that they were released. You know, remember what we do for Were? When they sh shot dead in cold blood to Ochuku? Eh? I beg me could I take time, go Google, go check what you will done to so far. You know they hide. Make you no come be say I do Vayan. I have found out since last year what I need to do. And I need to do a lot, I know. To the remodeling of this Nigeria. It is not only during the election we go come out, they make noise. Okay? We should all come out and focus. We need to educate the people more on social contract. We need to engage our government more and demand for the people's basic right. We need to do more. We never even start. And like I say, this is a marathon fight. No be a fight we go end today. No be a fight we go end tomorrow. In fact, I may not see that dream of a new Nigeria in my lifetime. But I want to believe that the process has already started. From now on, we'll be doing a lot to set in motion of how to re-engineer our country. Because verily, verily, I say unto you, and I still believe with my whole heart, that the future 
of this country, the salvation of this country, lies in the hands of his exceptional youth. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and God bless you. I believe in a better Nigeria. I believe that one day, one day, our mumu will come to a final full stop. Yes.